Right, you guys got another video can your old pc handle the windows 11 upgrade i've had quite a few people email me and also message me about this they have older systems and they're just not sure whether their system will be able to run windows 11. so i'm going to go through and help you find out whether your system is eligible for an upgrade and also whether it will be able to run windows 11. now windows 10 support will end in october 2025 we'll go through some of the options that you may have available like extended uh, support for that operating system it is a payable uh, fee of 30 dollars but i'll explain that a little bit later on so if you've got an older computer and you're not quite sure whether your system is eligible for a windows 11 upgrade now you have to remember not everyone is at the same level of tech some people just don't know and this is what this video is based for for those people that just don't know whether their system is going to be eligible for an upgrade or whether it will be able to run windows 11 but first let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for cheap windows 11 pro or cheap windows 10 pro oem keys then check out the links in the video description once you've set up an account on their website you'll be able to use my promo code capital b capital R09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD key sales. They would then send you a key. You can use that key to either upgrade to Windows 11 or Windows 10 Pro, or you can even do a fresh install and use that key and activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen right here. It's super easy to do and you'll be up and running in no time. Anyway, let's get back to the video. First off, what we need to do is right click on the start button and we're going to type in here msinfo32.exe and then click OK and this will open up the system information window and from here the first thing you'll need to do is check the processor. If your processor is an Intel processor that would be 8th generation or newer and you can check their compatibility list and I'll show you that in a second. If you have an AMD processor it's generally the Zen Plus processors or newer, the second generation of AMD processors. If you look at the Intel supported list here, it will go through an extensive list of Intel processors that are compatible with Windows 11. Now, we're not talking about what's right and what's wrong here. This is the compatible list that Microsoft have put together to say these will support uh, Windows 11. And there's a massive list of them here so what we need to do is check the model number of your processor and cross-reference it with the list that you see right here. But generally, 8th generation or newer, and it will generally work. Some Xeon processors are supported as well, so check the full list to make sure that your processor is listed there. If you have an AMD processor, you can also do the same thing. Just find out what model of AMD processor you have and then check the AMD processor list right here. I will leave a link for those in the video description, but there is an extensive list right here to see which ones will be supported for Windows 11. Again, if yours is not on the list, it's not generally going to be supported for Windows 11, unfortunately. Next, what you need to do also is if you have any of these particular processors, these are like your Snapdragons and stuff like that. You can cross-reference these along here if you have that particular type of machine that has this processor in here, you'll be able to check it. There's only a small list of them, but I'm pretty sure if you cross-reference that, you will know whether you have a supported PC or not for Windows 11. There is other ways of going about doing this, and I'll go through these right now. First off, you can also check the link in the video description for the system requirements. Now, Microsoft have set out some pretty strict system requirements for Windows 11. These are 1 gigahertz or faster with two or more cores, 64 bits compatible processor or system on chip, which is your SOC. Also memory, four gigabytes of RAM or greater, storage, 64 gigabytes or greater. And then you can see here system firmware, which is UEFI firmware, as well it also must support secure boot tpm 2.0 is also a must-have feature you can upgrade some motherboards with this feature as well a piece of hardware that will slot into the board i'm not going to go into that in this video but there is ways of getting around that if you can find one that supports your motherboard 
Also, there's some other specifications that are required to install uh, Windows 11 on that system. So you need to jump through a few hoops to be able to install or upgrade to Windows 11 on that system. Like I've said, your CPU needs to be supported. It also needs to have uh, TPM 2.0, Secure Boot, and a bunch of other specifications that I've already gone through on this page here. I'll leave all this information in the video description for you. If any of those are not met, then um, it's unlikely that you're going to be able to upgrade to Windows 11 or even do a fresh install of Windows 11 in the official way that Microsoft want you to do it. So if you're one of the unfortunate ones, which is like millions of other people and computers that are just not going to be able to upgrade to Windows 11 because of these strict system requirements, then unfortunately that leaves you no other option but to either extend the longevity of that PC by installing, say, an operating system like Linux on there, like Linux Mint, which I've already talked about, or you can also extend the updates, which we'll talk about in a second. If you look on your Windows Update panel on Windows 10, it will tell you whether the PC is eligible for running Windows 11, or it will tell you this PC doesn't currently meet the system requirements to be able to upgrade. Now I'm on Windows 11 here. That's a Windows 11 Windows Update window. Yours will be on a Windows 10 Update window. But again, if it doesn't meet those requirements, you will not be eligible. You can also download the PC Health Check app. This is a free application that Microsoft offer to be able to check to see whether your PC is eligible for an upgrade to Windows 11. Now, some people are classing it as a downgrade from Windows 10, but hey, we're not getting into that in this video. But you can run these checks, and if your computer is compatible, then you will get a list of some things that you can try. There's also a link right here. I'll leave the link for these in the video description. Download this and run this on your computer. Once you've downloaded the app and run it on your computer, it will look something like this. Again, I'm on a Windows 11 system already, but if you're on Windows 10, run the app. And if you see this PC does not currently meet the Windows 11 system requirements, or you have any yellow exclamation marks there, it might be a setting that you need to turn on in your BIOS to make it acceptable for Windows 11, or it may be the case that your PC is not compatible. And if that is the case, then that obviously means you will not be able to upgrade to Windows 11 or do a fresh install of Windows 11. If you can upgrade or do a fresh install of Windows 11, there's also some links on their website which you can go through and it will help you upgrade to the next version of Windows when the time is right. You can also use the Windows 11 installation assistant to see whether your computer is compatible to run Windows 11. All you need to do is download the application and run this on your computer and it will go ahead and tell you whether your computer is compatible to receive the free upgrade to Windows 11. If you're planning on doing a fresh install, also during the installation process, this will actually tell you that your PC is also not compatible to receive uh, the free installation of Windows 11. You can see here, this is the Windows 11 Assistant, and you also have the installation, which will tell you exactly that your PC has failed the installation because of those reasons. Now, ways to install Windows 11, there's a couple of options. If you're eligible, you can go through like I showed you and go through the upgrading process in the official way. But there's other ways to install Windows 11, which is not recommended if you have older, obsolete hardware where, and you can use the workaround, which Microsoft have on their own website here. There's an actual registry hack you can use to bypass uh, to be able to install Windows 11 on that system. Microsoft do not recommend you do this. And they are now starting to make changes to the uh, bypass methods to stop you from doing it on really old systems. But for ones that are just under the cusp of uh, being acceptable to uh, be able to upgrade to Windows 11, some of those might be okay to install Windows 11 on and work perfectly fine. Again, it's entirely up to you whether you go down this road and install Windows 11 or upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Microsoft changed their mind all the time and they could stop updates to that old system if it's not supported for Windows 11. So bear that in mind 
and they can do other things as well, which they've been known to do in the past. So let's talk about extended updates. We've touched on this before, but I just wanted to quickly go over this in this video so people understand. If you have a Windows 10 operating system, when the end of lifetime comes, which is in uh, October 2025, you have the option to be able to extend the security updates and updates and support to that system for another year for $30, which is worth doing if you want to get another year out of your computer. And there's always a chance that Microsoft might give you another year or even another year after that for another $30. It's very unlikely, but there is an option available and they may do it. It just goes to show that how Microsoft are looking to even make a little bit more money out of people that can't afford to buy a new computer that may be forced to extend for another year just to save uh, that PC from landfill. Again, you have the option to install Lin uh, Linux Mint or something like that on your system if you want to try another OS. It's not for everyone, but the option is there. Again, that is pretty much it. So that is basically all the information you're probably going to need. Let me know your thoughts in the video description. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.